Greetings, everybody. I am Lowland Bongo, and welcome to Wolfinia. And oh, what a what a place Wolfinia is—a place of magic and and wonder and lots and lots of freaking bugs. Hey, y'all, you supposed to be up here? You go away. Oh boy. Owie, get off me. What's wrong with you? I'm working here. Can't you see I'm busy? You think these bugs are gonna hurt themselves? Boop. Boop. Ah, oh, crap. That's not what we want. That's fine. We weren't ready for that guy yet anyway. My bugs are hungry. Yeah, y'all like that, don't you? Everybody get some of this, including me. Boop. All right, wither is in place. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some wither roses. And hey, how y'all doing today? Good, I hope. I hope y'all are excited for today's episode, because I am. I've been waiting a long time for this one. Welcome back to Wolfinia. And last week we did some work here with our beacons in Wolfinia's business district. And we made our first steps in our forthcoming beacon project. Now, maybe it would make sense at this point to go around the rest of Wolfinia and work on the other beacons, but I gotta be honest, I don't feel like it. We'll save this grind until I'm actually in the mood to grind. What I wanna do today is keep our focus narrowed to the business district right here, because there is some stuff here that I would like to see operational once again. So let's take stock of our business district farms. Right here we have Dunder Minecraft. We got this thing operational a few episodes ago. Luna's Forge is also operational. That is fine. Around the corner here, you can see we're approaching the garden center. The garden center will probably need a bit of work, but I'm not going to make that a priority in this episode. Uh, over here we have the House of Leaves. The House of Leaves we might touch on a bit later, but what I am really excited about is trying to get Timberland, our gas-powered tree farm, back up and running once more. Because this thing has been down for quite a while, but Sawyer, I think we're ready for our grand reopening. You gonna play nice, buddy? Yeah. You've missed this. I've missed this too. All right, Um. so the only way we're gonna be able to see if anything's wrong here is if we actually test this thing out, right? So, let's go ahead and test it out. Well, there's a problem right off the bat. Things ain't looking too good here, bud. Hey, there we go, there we go. That's one problem solved. Good push, good push. Good push. Well, maybe, I don't know, that was sketchy. Um, this is stuck. I think that pushed, that's good. We're getting our logs pushed to towards Sawyer. Okay, this is promising. Now one big concern is, is Sawyer actually breaking these logs? He's definitely shooting at them. Hey, no logs there! That's wonderful, okay. So he is breaking them. Alright, let me, let me see if I can see where our issues lie. Well, that could be one problem. Um, I took out some of the redstone here in order to build the house of leaves. Um, but we should... We do have space over here where we could rebuild that redstone, so... That is not a deal breaker. We are also going to need to recombine our chests here. And just for my peace of mind, I think... We can maybe do something like this, that way I can see if the logs are still getting broken, and that still prevents Sawyer from actually shooting us. But he does get the logs. Yeah, I like that. But I mean, despite the fact that, you know, some of our redstone is going to need to be addressed, it seems like all the essential functions of this are there. We grow our trees, the leaves do get smashed, kind of. The logs get pushed towards Sawyer. Sawyer breaks them. They go into the hoppers. We collect them into our chest. But, I mean, it does basically what we need it to do. We just need to fine tune it a bit from here. 
Oh. That could be an issue as well. When we're AFK, we don't want to get knocked out of position. For any reason. I got the drone running right now. I'm just trying to see, like, uh, you know, where our issues lie. I'm going to review the footage and try to make some repairs here. I am so glad I color-coded my redstone. This should make things a bit easier. Um, so, what I've done, I've gone through and double-checked all our piston extenders. So they should hopefully all be working now. Those all, of course, work as they should. This was the question right here, and that is now doing what it should do. I also added another cycle through here, another push cycle, to get uh, blocks in there towards Sawyer a little bit quicker. Um, we should have another full cycle where it's pulling the remainder of these logs in towards him. I get my birch tree back, that's good. There's our second cycle beginning. Yeah! Alright! And then the bone meal starts back up. That means we're ready to go again. Now this farm should be good for harvesting four different types of logs. We have our birch, obviously, we have our jungle, we have our spruce, and we have our oak. So let's go ahead and run our different types of logs through here and just make sure that we're not going to have any issues with any of these. So there is our jungle getting retracted. That in the spruce will pretty much act just like the birch did. Oh, and I am constantly going to be replanting these things right here. Um, basically, I'm going to be crouched, aimed at the dispenser, and just spamming the plant the sapling button uh, while AFK. Like, this is not something I'm going to do in person. This is a farm I want to be able to leave alone throughout the night and come back in the morning and just have a ton of logs waiting for me. So you will see that once this sapling grows, which it did right there, it will get retracted and I will automatically plant another one. I am not going to sit here and manually do all this tedious work. That is not something I'm looking forward to. And this is not like a quick farm or anything. We may have some issues here. Sawyer, you're not breaking the logs fast enough. That could potentially be an issue. I'll have to see what the problem is with him. Because if this does get backed up like that, we, uh, we're gonna have some issues. So, at this point, I'm going to try to figure out what exactly went wrong there and how we can possibly fix it. And I will be back with you guys in just a little bit with, hopefully, some good news. Hey, if y'all see Mr. Wolfins, y'all could just tell him that my redstone worked perfectly, like right off the bat. That would be wonderful. Alright, let's go ahead and change to oak mode, and we're gonna stress test this bad boy right here. So oak mode basically just lowers the ceiling a little bit. That way we don't get any super tall oak trees growing in here. Um, but it does run a little bit faster in oak mode, so if we do get a backup, this is going to let us know. And actually, possibly a better idea, let's go ahead and have Didi do the tedious work. Let's have Didi replant the trees. We have him all set up to just constantly replant while I go around and make sure everything's good, right? Uh, now, he will constantly get resupplied with oak saplings through here. He already has a bunch in his inventory. Um, but this does give me the opportunity to go and actually make adjustments in real time as the farm is running. I'll be able to adjust the timings and stuff like that, uh, and just be able to check on everything and make sure, you know, everything's working as it should, right? No, nope, there we go, that's a backup. That is a backup. Okay. Didi, no, stop! Stop replanting, Didi! Didi, how dare you! Stop it! Didi, why do you hate me? My goodness. I'm gonna have to ask you to just back on up here a second. There we go, that's better. Ow! Get off me! Stupid tree. Pain in my butt. So I'm fairly certain that when Dee Dee is crouched, Sawyer is aiming differently. I'm pretty sure that changes the trajectory of his fireballs, so that way the logs are not breaking as they should. You see, if I'm standing here, it's fine. So we're gonna have to find some way to reposition Dee Dee. All right, I have made some changes here, and hopefully they will do the trick. Let's go ahead and get Dee Dee into position. 
So we'll crouch belly up to the trapdoor right here on top of a trapdoor that raises up his position. Then we'll get him started planting. And the reason why we can't do this while standing, oh, well you just saw. He goes into swim mode, that knocks him out of position and he clicks on the hoppers if he uh, is just standing. But crouching eliminates that problem. We do want to make sure that all these logs are getting destroyed by Sawyer now. Which they are, perfect. Okay, I think we are looking pretty good here. So let me go ahead and start cleaning up my mess. And yes, I did make a mess trying to get Didi to stand on a trap door. A lot more involved than you think it would be. Because I had to move this entire piston assembly up a block. Which meant changing like uh, some of the redstone back there to accommodate for that. Like the um, way all, like both the double piston extenders on this side are activated. And just uh, trying to make room for everything. But I mean, it does seem to be working. But basically, this slime block was a block lower, which was grabbing that trap door and pulling it away. Uh, but now, with it in the position it is, everything does seem to be working well. Excuse me, Didi. Uh, so, at this point, I'm going to watch this for just a few minutes, make sure everything actually is good here this time. And then, if it is, maybe we can move on to something else. Yeah, everything does seem to be working wonderfully now. So that is awesome. We'll, um, I think leave Didi here with Sawyer for a little bit. Let those two catch up. Uh, in the meantime, I do need to plan what else we're going to do in this episode. Um, but I am going to have to ask something to you guys. Just kind of keep an eye on them. I'll get the drone up in the air, feed the footage to you. Just keep an eye on them and let me know if we have any problems, all right? Listen to that. Sawyer is so happy. Him and Didi are still playing. They've been in there for a couple hours now and they're still going at it. But I think we can officially reopen the Timberland tree farm. And this is huge for Wolfinia. This is great because this is going to provide us with so much of the wood we need to continue to build up this city. I did make some slight changes in here. I'll go ahead and show you that real quick. Uh, basically, I had to put this lever back in place, connected that up to a trap door. That way, when we flip the farm off, this thing closes and prevents villagers from getting up in there. Because, I mean, let's face it, this is not the safest place. Boom! Timberland Tree Farm reopened in March of 2022. This is wonderful. Now, we will have to address how we're going to get acacia and dark oak. But as far as our oak, our spruce, our birch, and our jungle wood goes, we have a solution for that, don't we? Yes, we do. And it's not even something I need to worry about anymore. Didi is going to actually take over the responsibility of gathering those particular types of wood. Because as I said, they've been in there for a while, man, and they've built a rapport over that time. And I wouldn't want to get in the middle of that, you know? And yes, I am just going to leave them there. I am so happy right now. I'm so happy Sawyer's found a friend, that Didi's found a friend. We're gonna leave Timberland alone for a little while. We're gonna venture next door to a project that is not yet completed, the House of Leaves. 
Now, we're not going to complete the House of Leaves in this episode, obviously. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be added to it. We're not going to be adding to it. We're going to be just kind of making sure all the farms down here in the House of Leaves work. And if they don't, well, we're going to make them work. So, first thing we're going to check up on is our Sweetberry Farm. And you know what? I am happy to report that works just fine. Why wouldn't it? It's a manual farm. Much like our vine farm over here. It's not really too much we need to do. I did make some changes to the central pillar last episode to accommodate for our water elevator and our additional beacons we'll be adding. Um, I forgot to show you guys that last episode, but I meant to. But now that I have shown you all, are forgiven, right? The only other farm we have to worry about over here is our moss farm. Now, this is not a manual farm, so chances of it working are kind of up in the air. Let's see. Oh, no, that is very broken. Well, it seems our redstone line up here is not getting a signal, and even if it did, the line is not making contact with the pistons, so they probably wouldn't work anyway. We will have to address that. But as far as the signal not making its way up here, to figure out where it's getting stopped up, right over here, it seems. So if we were to adjust this repeater, maybe, that might work for us. Yeah, there we go. So hopefully this will be a pretty simple fix. Uh, basically, all I'm going to do is run the redstone line back a little bit to this row and have this row just be a bunch of repeaters facing into the pistons. And hopefully that will get them pushing blocks again. Well, I will have to make up some more repeaters to finish off this line of pistons, but I do hear them pushing blocks, doing what we want them to do, which is very good. Yeah. That, uh, that wasn't too bad at all. Get out of here. I am happy to report that our stone generator seems to be working flawlessly. Now, we do have a couple more issues to address. Namely, these moss carpets right here. How do we harvest them? Because they just sit on top of the stone. And also, item collection. All right, I have an idea. So, as you can see, I added some pistons to this. We could probably integrate the piston redstone into our bone milling redstone, maybe. Uh, but basically, I'm thinking these can hold back a water source I'll be up here, and then when the piston retracts, they'll let the water source flow down and kind of wash away all the carpets, right? I think having the water source up here is probably going to be the least obtrusive method of doing this. And I don't think that dropping water down will really interfere with anything else. So yeah, give me a few minutes. I'm going to see what we can actually make happen here. Well, crap. That didn't work. So I think I might have it figured out. Basically, we have a red zone signal coming up here that splits off into two ways. One back here to the bone mealers. The other signal goes this way, a longer signal to our piston water dropper thingies. Um, and the bone mealers will activate first, followed shortly after by the piston water dropper thingies. Uh, this is not elegant redstone by any means. This is very much trial and error redstone, as you should expect from me at this point. But it does seem to be working. Um, so I'll hang out down here till it cycles around again so you guys can actually see it working. And I will still be making adjustments as needed. But this is, you know, the first promising thing I've seen out of this so far. So, there we go. We have a bone meal and a harvest. Well, most of a harvest. Uh, but then all this stuff will be collected by the uh, item collection system that we've started to put down in here. Obviously, we need to hook that up to something. But oh my goodness, I can't with this gas anymore. Didi, Didi, listen, the neighbors are complaining. This is very loud. So, um, you know, I'm just gonna have to ask you guys to shut it down until we're done filming, all right? Just until like nighttime when everybody's trying to sleep. That's the perfect time to do this. Didi, I didn't want to, have to do this. But I'll do it. All right. Didi, come on. You got to work with me here. All right. We're cool. Didi! Hey, don't test me, robot. 
Listen, I didn't want to have to do this, but you are forcing my hand here, alright? I did it! This has to stop! Compose yourself! You dare slow the progress of our wood harvesting? It is for Wolf and me, huh? I, I know, I know, and you guys are doing a great job. I'm just gonna have to ask you to leave just for a moment. Well, for a little bit longer than a moment, you know? Uh, here, let me get that for you. But yeah, just push your push your way on out there, just push right through me, that's fine. I'm just saying, it's an AFK farm and I'm not away from my keyboard at the moment. But, I mean, you guys are doing great work. Do not make Sawyer and I question your devotion to Wolfred Wolfins. I am 100% devoted to Mr. Wolfins, are you kidding me? And you guys can get back to work as soon as I'm done filming. You hear that, Sawyer? You guys can get back to your business as soon as I'm done. My goodness. Teaming up against me. Question my devotion to Wolfinia. How dare you? And Sawyer, especially you, how dare you? After everything I've done for you in this episode, I helped you get back to work, man. Speaking of, it's about time I got back to work. Ridiculous. They better not tattle on me. Okay, so as far as how the storage goes for our farm, we're going to have two sections. First section is going to be the bone mealing section. And this is where grass seeds are going to go that are going to help us continue to run this farm and get more moss. Now, the second section is going to be right here, and this is going to be general storage for all the mossy goodness this farm produces. Now, having the storage over here does pose a slight problem in the fact that this wall butts right up against our sweetberry farm. It is, in fact, the wall of our sweetberry farm. And once we get hoppers and all that stuff back there, this probably won't end up looking all that great from this side. But we might be able to make it work. Um, the other option would be to have the storage for this farm located on the opposite wall over here. The problem with this, though, is that it's so far from the entrance, I don't feel like walking that far. Easy part, though, is the fact that we don't have anything built back here yet, so actually building it would be fairly simple. In fact, uh, I probably shouldn't rule it out. Just in case we can't make the other side work, this is still going to be an option. Owie! How dare you? And that should do it. Yeah, I can live with that, I think. So we got a new wall over there on the sweetberry side, and that means I now have a little bit of room to play with. And we're probably going to want to outset this little storage section a little bit, just so we have room to run double chests with hoppers behind them. Uh, I think we can possibly make that work. Owie! Before we get around to that storage, let me go ahead and address this storage real quick because I do want to go ahead and convert all the chests in here to double chest just for the convenience of having them the way they were actually meant to be, even though it is kind of a pain in my butt, literally. Y'all gonna keep sticking me, huh? Trying to make me look foolish in my own video? Well, now who looks foolish, huh? Your berries are gone. And I'm talking to plants. Slight problem. We do have something over this that prevents me from accessing my hoppers. And it's redstone. Crap. Uh, what is it redstone for? It is redstone for the tree farm. Okay. Um, we can probably just shift it over, right? Yeah, I think so. Hopefully. This doesn't interfere with anything. Yeah, I was kind of curious, like, what does this redstone actually do? By golly, I can't figure it out. Like, it literally, it goes nowhere. Like, it does nothing. Well, there, there's my redstone in a nutshell for you. I mean, it does kind of encroach upon the House of Leaves area. And it cuts off near where other redstone cut off, so... I'm gonna guess we... cut it off when we built the House of Leaves. Um... And that it was non-essential. Please, be non-essential. Alright, well I just took that redstone line out, and now we can go ahead and focus on getting the... item transportation in for our moss farm storage system. Wow, neither of those... went where I wanted them to. My goodness. So, quick progress update on how the item transportation system is going. I just got in our minecart drop-off station right here, which... Ow! Let me try that again. 
So minecart deposits items. <sighs> items go up bubbles, across ice, slippy slidey woohoo to item filter over here. I, ah, crap, there we go again. Item filter uh, filters out all these seeds to make into bone meal. Everything else, go along this way, go into chest. Simple. I am not doing that again. That That's going in the video. I got through it. All right, let's give this a try. All right, the farm is on. The minecart should be on its return trip now. There it is. All right, items bubbling up just as we wanted them to. We have a seed right there and crap again. Uh, did the seed get filtered out? Or are these going too fast? I'm gonna assume it got filtered out and that everything is cool. Dang it! Wait, I think I... Hey, can I get a... Can I get a replay, please? Alright, here we go. Couldn't tell. Collected and not collected. The last seed was not collected. Alright, before I address that issue, let me go ahead and address our collection issue because the hopper minecart is not picking up everything it needs to pick up. Uh, because it doesn't run under this section right here. But we can fix that. It's just a simple matter of making sure that no items wash this far over. And actually, I am noticing another problem now. Um, I just took everything out of here. And... It just doesn't seem like the minecart is able to pick up all the items on a single pass. I don't know if it gets filled up or what, but it definitely can't keep up with the rates of this farm. So that could also be an issue. Dang it. Too efficient. Just too good. Too good for my own good. When in doubt, double up. So, we're gonna have two hopper minecarts now. Uh, this hopper minecart is going to be responsible for the back half of this farm. It's gonna come out and be like, zoom, 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 hit this, and then go back to the starting point and drop off its items. We have another hopper minecart taking care of the front half of this farm that is going to drop off in the same location. We are also going to double up on our grassy to bone meal conversion thing. We added a second item filter for grass seeds and a third one that filters out moss blocks so we know items just kind of pass over this if they go too fast, right? That means some moss blocks will be collected, converted to bone meal, but most will probably end up in storage. And hopefully that will provide us with enough bone meal to actually keep this farm running. So item filters are in. Our second minecart drop-off station is in. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on and give it a try. We do need to make some bone meal because my dispensers, well, some of them are now out of bone meal. So let's go ahead and deposit some bone meal in the dispensers that need it. You, for instance, you can have some of that. You need some of this. And how are you doing? You're going to need more very soon. But now we have our items coming through at a much better rate, and I don't see any grass seeds in here, which is a good sign. Um, we are still getting moss blocks coming in, that's good, because we know they'll pass over it since we only have the one moss block filter. Excellent! So the timings appear to be good. Our bone meal production seems to be good. Our item collection seems to be good. I'm pretty happy with this. Now, I do still have some mess to clean up and some stuff I need to do, but we'll let this run for a little while, see how it goes.
Welcome back, everybody. I think we can officially say that what we have of the House of Leaves is now operational. As you saw during that time lapse, I also did a harvest of our vine farm here. Um, and since we're not using axes to harvest our vines anymore, I did have to make myself a pair of shears. And this is after mending this pair of shears. So one pair of shears is about enough to do half of this farm right here, so it would make sense to make a second one. Eventually, I'm not too worried about that as of right now. Or we could just find a way to help us mend. Uh, sweet berries, uh, we have already covered the sweet berry farm, no point in going back to that right now. And then as far as our moss farm goes, this is working great with one small exception. We do have items that kind of get washed up over the edges here, and they kind of sit here and are not collected. But I have an idea of how we can fix that. Guardrails! Yeah, now you can't escape. You can see the minecart coming through and starting to collect everything now, which is wonderful. And everything is located in an area where the minecart can actually collect it. That is good. I am feeling good about this. I mean, this took some work. This took a lot more work than I was expecting it to take. But it's totally worth it, because now we can officially say the moss farm is working. That is awesome. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys. Uh, this, this is what we managed to collect so far. Like, we have... Um, going on our third double chest full of mossy goodness with no seeds. So that is wonderful. All the seeds are going... Ultimately, they're going in here. This is where the seeds are going. Which reminds me, I should probably go ahead and refill our dispensers. But then... I think we should be good. Alright, Didi. First off, I just want to apologize about earlier. I didn't mean to interrupt you. You and Sawyer, feel free to get back to business. For the glory of Wolvenia, this tree farm is mine to command. Sawyer, ready yourself for the great harvesting. We will blanket Wolvenia in sawdust. The streets will run brown with bark, timber. Gotta say, Didi, I, I like your enthusiasm. And I wouldn't dare ask you to tone it down with concerns of my own safety and the safety of others. Uh, you know what? What am I complaining about? Let's go ahead and get out of here. You know, it's been a good day. It's been a productive day. We've got a couple farms up and running that are going to help us in the construction of these towers here. Because we've got everything we need to make dark prismary. Now we can produce oak and also uh, mossy cobble and mossy stone bricks, which we'll need for a lot of the stone around here. So, I mean, the stuff we're doing, we're doing for a reason, even though we're not doing it the most efficient way, we're just doing it a fun way. So, you know, it's it's fun, but it's with purpose. Anyway, now, I do think that is going to do it for us today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to hit that little thumbs up button. That would mean a whole lot to me. And if you want to see more of Wolfinia, please remember to subscribe. But as always, I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I deeply appreciate it. And until next time, I am Pongo. No, no, that's a Dalmatian. Perdita, no. I don't know. I will see you guys later.